Red Dragon Green Crescent uh, playing part of the Red Dragon Rising scenario here. So this is uh, East China Sea or Western Pacific. Um, I talked about some some details about the units here um, last time because I do think that uh, I mean unit differentiation is well should always be an important part of a war game. I think it's especially important here, I think. So there's basically the particulars of the geographic laydown of the theater here. So that's water areas versus land areas. Uh, uh, actually, it's those two so far. Well, I guess bases too. Um, actually, bases aren't really that important either. Um, of note though, when I said that Bangladesh, which, which is still neutral in this game, is, uh, has no, is not, is a non-base land area, but Cambodia is too. That's interesting. Myanmar does have a port, but it's China friendly. Uh, yeah, Chinese ally. Obviously Vietnam. Uh, and obviously Thailand, both have base, are based uh, land areas. So there really aren't a lot of land areas that aren't based. Well, well, I just noticed more. So Borneo, Brunei, Sarawak, the Celebes. That's interesting. What is the... Land areas susceptible to amphibious invasion. Okay. Well, that's interesting. That's what this symbol is right here. That symbol is uh, land area susceptible to amphibious invasion. Well, that's interesting. So, so while you would obviously expect Taiwan and other islands to have those, well, I guess Borneo, Brunei, Sarawak is, I guess that's also an island. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't want to get off on the geography. So there's there's the geographical laydown of the theater and then there's the unit differentiation. I think that's kind of the heart of the game. Um, I guess I guess the third leg of the stool, of course, are the events, events slash ops, or I should say ops slash events. Um, Okay. Uh, uh, where am I? Um, turn to, yeah, the U.S. op. That's what it is. So, first I roll for an event. On a one or two, you roll you roll for an event. I rolled a one. Now I roll a, uh, eleven to sixty-six. All right, I roll a thirty-four. Uh, let's see, thirty-four, thirty-four. Thirty-four random events. Thirty-four, thirty-four. Uh, random Venezuela and Cuba enter the war on the PRC side. The U.S. player should roll a die. Oh, six. You're gonna have it. Round it up. That's three. Um, yeah, have the number round up. Numbers the quantity of units one, two, or three. He must now, the U.S. player must now, blindly draw from his reinforcement pool and permanently send to the New Caribbean front of the war. They are removed from play. All right, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not actually going to play that event. I just described it. Um, I don't intend to go long enough to activate in any... Well, yeah, I don't plan to get into activating any type of reinforcement pool, actually. I'm just kind of playing around with the basic mechanics uh, and you get sequence of play. All right, so that is that now. Okay, now we go to US Op. And this is what I wanted to, this is where I left off before starting to record. Second player, US Ops. Okay, so I was looking at taking these three, now that Vietnam is in the war as a US ally. I was thinking about taking these three Vietnamese air units 
Now, by the way, obviously this is not tactics here. Um, although I do want to think through some tactics. This is not to show or demonstrate any type of competent um, tactics. And so the first thing to say is that why would you send all of your, or why would Vietnam send all of their air units to conduct an attack? Because you could lose, Vietnam could lose all three aircraft and that, is that true? Oh, that's interesting. Is that true or not? So, anyways, actually that might change what I'm thinking. Anyways, I wanted them to go come after, I'm going to set, set these subs aside in the South China Sea area. Here's a SAG, Surface Action Group. I was thinking about sending the three Vietnamese air units against the PRC SAG. So, does the PRC SAG only roll back against one? So I guess they would go after the best one, which I guess is the Su-22. Three, four, three, four, five, yeah. So why wouldn't the SAG, it has a four anti-air, go after the Su-22? Um, and then of course that gets me back to the ops. What is that? That's an air op. Um, so back to the offs. Um, bring ally into the war. Okay, op number one. Now I'm going to go through until I get one that looks like this type of op. One, bring ally into the war. Uh, two, start war in Korea. Three, move PRC ground. Four, airborne air assault against Taiwan. Five, bomb Taiwan. I did that before. Um, re uh, six, repair NATO carrier. Seven, airlift U.S. ground. Eight, U.S. reinforcements. Nine, enlist neutral to ally, to ally with the uh, U.S. All right, still looking for an air attack against surface naval units. Um, let's see, number ten, U.S. intercepts PRC aerial rebasing or long-range op. Uh, number 11, end Korean War. 12, move naval units from base. 13, move naval units at sea. Uh, 14, move naval units at sea. So one is to attack ground units. One is to attack other naval units. Op number 15, attack with naval units. Uh, okay. Uh, 16, rebase aircraft. 17, airstrike against... Here we go. Airstrike against naval units. Op number 17, use aircraft in one base area. All right, so this is Vietnam base area here, um, to attack enemy naval vessels in one neighboring sea zone. So South China Sea neighbors Vietnam because they they have this border up here. Um, this op may be conducted by either player any number of times if such an attack is made in a contested sea zone. Well, of course this is a contested sea zone. Or, oh no wait, maybe contested means I already have my friendly units there in the South China Sea which I do not. Um, it may not, as part of the same op, include the participation of any of the friendly naval vessels in that. Okay, that's what they mean by contested. All right, so this is horrible strategy. Of course, you wouldn't do this, but I'm still going to follow through with it. So here we've got um, anti-surface, 2-1-1. It's horrible, horrible odds, but look at that. <laughs> we get, I don't think there are any modifiers. Well, I guess, why am I ruling? But the other ones would attack. Okay, so now the SAG fires back. They have a very good 4 anti-air, yep, and they roll a one. All right, so um, I guess PRC SAG unit eliminated, um, but the Vietnamese lose their Su-22 as well. Um, I get, I'm, I'm sure they, the two MiG-21 units come back to, to Vietnam. Um, obviously, these guys couldn't do anything in response, the subs. Um, I don't think these guys, I don't think there's any defensive, I don't think there's any additional defensive type action PRC could have taken. Um, all right, let me continue on with the time remaining with the other ops. So there's, so that was 17. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make a record of that just in case, just in case it's relevant. Um, US op 17, all right. Um, all right, op 18 is long range airstrike. Op 19 is amphibious assault. Op 20 is ground attack. 